Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. So Pisces, let's get into your reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. For me, when this card comes out, it represents the four of wands, but in the reverse, which could definitely insinuate that things are a little bit rocky right now with whoever it is that you currently find yourself connecting with. It could also insinuate that there was a split that transpired here between you and whoever it is that you're once upon a time romantically involved with. But let's see what's going on. We're going to focus on you first, Pisces. Then we'll jump over to your person. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed and time is fluid. So it's either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Pisces currently view this relationship? Mm. You know, I really don't like seeing the devil attached to the five of wands or the five of swords, but we got the five of swords, we got the devil, and then we also have the knight of pentacles. Could be connecting with a Capricorn strongly, possibly an Aquarius, maybe even a Virgo. How does this person currently view... We got the Ten of Swords, we got the Moon, and then we also have the Queen of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. Okay. Okay. Um, this does not look good. I'm going to be honest. This, this really doesn't look good. You know, this is kind of like an overall energy, Pisces, of you trying to get even with someone. You trying to get even with someone based off of something that they clearly did on their end, okay? Um, it just kind of looks like... You're giving this person a taste of their own medicine, and to be completely honest, they don't like it. They don't like it. With the Ten of Swords to the Moon to the Queen of Cups, they don't like it. I feel like you're really giving this person a taste of their own medicine. I really, really do. I do. And it's like the moment you come in and give this person a taste of their own medicine, they obviously don't like it. Whatever it is that you're doing on your end, you know, it's really hurting this person, to be completely honest. But I feel like it's coming from a place of you really wanting this person to fully understand what it feels like to be in your shoes. And it's almost in a sense where it's like the moment you come in and you give this person, you know, a dose of their own medicine is when they start to essentially realize, right, that they really did kind of mess up pretty badly here. But I feel like it has a lot to do with something that they clearly did on their end, and you're just trying to get even with them because of it. How does Pisces currently feel? So we have the Death card, we have the Seven of Swords, and then we also have the Page of Cups. Let me look at this person really quickly. How does this person currently feel? So we have Judgment, we also have the King of Cups, and then we have the Queen of Wands. True pair situation here between you and this person. They're coming across as a Queen of Wands regardless of their gender, because they could be a dude for all we know. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us, so don't get caught up in the gender, and you are coming across as a King of Wands, and then we also have the King and the Queen of Cups out here. So true pair situation here between you and this person. Yeah, Pisces, I just... I feel like whatever it is that they did, whether it was a lie that they told you, it could have been some sort of like deception that transpired here also too, you're returning the favor. You're definitely returning the favor before you exit this relationship, which, which is really interesting. It's almost in a sense where you're very determined to get even with them first before you exit this relationship. But I do see you calling it quits here. I do see you initiating this ending here between you and this person. But I feel like this person just wants you to give them a second chance, to be honest. Again, the fact that you're really coming in here and giving this person a dose of their, their own medicine, it's putting a lot of things into perspective uh, for them. That's one thing that I will say. But... I do kind of feel like this person really does want you to give them a second chance. It just doesn't look like you want to. It doesn't look like you want to. It does not look like you want to. Okay. What actions will Pisces take towards this person and moving forward? That 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 kind of hurt when I saw this. We have the Emperor. We have the Four of Swords, and then we have the uh, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, that, that kind of hurt when I saw this, but then we have an empress, another true pair situation here between you and this person. You guys showed up as a true pair three times, by the way, um, but we have the five of wands, we have the lovers, and then we got the five of pentacles. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. You know, 
as you're coming in, getting even with this person, giving them a taste of their own medicine before you decide to exit this relationship here, I feel like it has a lot to do with you trying to prove a point here uh, to this person in particular. And as you're exiting this relationship, you have uh, zero intentions of trying to work things out with this person or even getting back with this person, to be honest. And it is kind of coming from a place of you kind of looking at this person like, like they're not worth it. You're looking at them like they're not worth it. They're just not worth it. They're just not worth it. Like you rather invest your time and energy towards something else than this person and this relationship. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. What actions? You know what's kind of like, you know what's kind of insane? You know what's kind of insane to me is that even though you're coming in and returning the favor, right? So to speak to this person where you're coming in, you're really giving them a taste of their own medicine. Even despite all of that or whatever it is that you did on your end just to get even with this person. The fact that they still want to be with you even after that, like that is like the mind blowing part to it all. But with the devil to the ten of pentacles to me, and I'm shocked that the four of pentacles didn't come out for this person, but that's kind of like that gripping energy, right? Of somebody refusing to let go of something, which is this relationship that they share with you. You know, moving forward, I really do see this person putting up a fight to keep you in their life, but it doesn't look like it's going to work out that way. It doesn't really look like it's going to work out that way between you and this person. Like they could sit here and fight all they want, but I don't, I don't feel like they're going to get the uh, outcome that they want with you because you're already kind of looking at this person like they're not even worth it at this point. They're not even worth it. That's kind of how you're looking at them. Okay. Jesus, wasn't expecting that. Let's see the outcome though between the two of you. What's the outcome between these two? Come on. You got the King of Wands, which is your overall energy. And like I said, don't get caught up in the gender because we all have masculine and feminine energy. Yep, there we go. There we go. That's just what I wanted to like double check on. Yeah, you're very committed to seeing this uh this ending here between you and them through. Uh, I still kind of see this person putting up a fight either which way to keep you in their life. But it kind of looks like your mind's made up at this point. Your mind is definitely made up at this point, Pisces. So it kind of looks like you're done. And, you know, they could sit here and try to fight for you all they want. But I don't really feel like it's going to really get them the outcome that they want. Just going based off of your overall energy, okay, Pisces? Because it kind of looks like you're done. You're definitely done. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately for them anyways. Okay. Let's pull a romance angel card and see what we get. Any advice for Pisces? Yeah. You know, this is kind of like the first time that this has happened in a while. Because normally when situations like this happen... Like, when I pull the Romance Angel card, it's always encouraging these two to work things out, right? You're actually getting the, the opposite of that. With Release Your Ex, the time has come to clear energy of forgiving and learning. It's basically telling you, Pisces, that you're doing the right thing by walking away from this relationship and not revisiting it. Um, it's saying that you're doing the right thing, although, yes, they're, they're putting up a fight to keep you in, in your life. It is basically insinuating that you are doing the right thing by not continuing to invest your time and energy towards this person in particular you know one thing also too that you're also going to come to terms with uh pisces when all of this is said and done is that you kind of allow this person to get you out of your character because the fact that you're coming across as an emperor is interesting to me because an emperor doesn't do this like an emperor is not about getting even with someone or giving a person a taste of their own medicine like the emperor is too grown for that right and the fact that this person got you out of your character that's something that you're really going to realize um and that might also cause you to kind of realize that maybe this person is just not the one for you but this one over here is really getting you out of your character to the point where you're doing things out of spite and out of anger that you typically wouldn't do you typically wouldn't do that, right? Because you're coming across as an emperor, regardless of your gender, right? It's it's just not something that an emperor does. It's something that like a, I don't know, like a page would do, right? And you're so far from that. You're so far from that. 
But yeah, they get it. They get it now, you know? I, I feel like because you're kind of returning the favor and giving this person a taste of their own medicine, they get it. They now they now they understand basically what it feels like, right? They know what it feels like now, but like I said, before you exit this relationship, um, you, you're gonna definitely make this person feel how you feel. Okay, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box down below, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.